I see myself in, in anything I've done as sort of a physician. I'm there to take care of the person. He's had an impact in sickle cell disease where he helped develop chelation as a way to treat um, iron overload. That's a, a major issue in both thalassemia and sickle cell uh, patients. And with Oroplat to uh, help develop hydroxyurea as now a standard of therapy. This was the first set of pills we used with a few left over. And it was successful in this patient in 1983 and it is now the standard of care for all patients with sickle cell anemia. He's a person who's been able to take problems that he's seen at the bedside and take them into the laboratory. So he's linked together the worlds of clinical practice and clinical science to a remarkably high degree. So he's had all these impacts at a scientific level but I think his bigger impact on the field was training a whole cadre of medicine leaders. I think mentoring is a sort of the secret weapon of any scientist. It's a huge amplifier. And I think one's reputation is built for most people on the basis of who one trained rather than necessarily what one did. David's secret always has been to not only to try to recruit the person that's at the next level, but at one or two levels about the very, very, very best people, and to surround himself with extraordinary people. When he identifies somebody and he sees that somebody's willing to work and willing to put the effort into building their own career, uh, he just attaches himself to you. Because of his passion for excellence and his high demands, not only of others, but himself as well, he raised your expectations for yourself. One of his major strengths is that he teaches from the standpoint of the patient and the disease. So he's, he's really interested in the patient and every aspect of, of the patient's problems, but he understands the pathophysiology and would bring that to light for the students. From his writings and from my long discussions with him, uh, he has a very good uh, relationship and a very understanding relationship with his patients. One of uh, his patients, which I had the pleasure of following when I was a fellow, Dr. Nathan developed the diagnostic technique to understand the pathophysiology of this young man's disorder. He developed the treatment to get rid of ire and still is this young man now in his 40s physician. I was born normal and I've, about a year and a half I stopped growing. I was very pale and the doctor takes one look at me and says You're to my parents, your son has thalassemia major and I don't know whether he'll live uh, a week, a month or a year and at least you can be lucky that you have two other children. Somebody suggested why don't you go to Boston and maybe they can you know, figure out what's wrong with uh, Khaled. I remember meeting him, and he gravely shook hands with me, and he looked at me, and I saw in that guy a, a, a will and a determination that I don't think I ever saw in a patient before or since. There wasn't a good or efficient iron chelator at the time. He kept on looking for something better. Each time it was a different hurdle that we had to battle and we've been able to get through it all. I'm so happy to have him in my life. He's a legend, has been for a long time, and I think people realize that in many ways they are intellectual descendants uh, of, of David Nathan. The Coulter Award is certainly uh, an esteemed uh, prize that only the best and the brightest get. It's certainly befitting for David Nathan. Wallace Coulter had a genius about him and the Coulter principle transformed diagnostic hematology. Far from those glass slides, suddenly we had uh, real descriptions of cells in numbers 
and that's all Wallace Coulter. Some of the principles that were important to Wallace Coulter um, are, are very well aligned with ASH and what it's about, and I think no one represents um, all of that better than David Nathan. Well, to me, the Wallace H. Coulter Award really puts me in a certain company that I'm very proud of. And of course, I have to thank those trainees of mine. This is really their award in many, many ways. So, I have a lot of gratitude right now.